Carefully place the motor on a suitable level work surface. Make sure the work surface is free of metal chips or particles. A non-magnetic surface is preferred. Coat the motor shaft with an anti-seize paste. Slide the shaft adapter onto the motor shaft until the end of the shaft is firmly against the retaining ring. The shaft adapter is held to a tight tolerance with the motor shaft. It may be necessary to tap the shaft adapter into position using a dead blow hammer or heat it with an oven induction heater to around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a 3 16th inch torque wrench, tighten both set screws to 228 inch pounds. Using a 3 quarter inch socket, unbolt the wet end from the motor adapter by removing the four half inch hex head cap screws. Check to ensure the vapor protection o-ring is present and undamaged in the groove on the motor. Use petroleum jelly or a similar substance to keep the o-ring in place. Slide the motor adapter over the shaft adapter and secure the motor face using hex head bolts and log washers. Torque the hex head bolts to the value shown on screen. It's helpful to use the supplied cardboard tube to help protect the outer drive magnets from damage from tools. Be sure to remove the tube after the drive is securely attached. Save the tube for any potential future repairs. If your pump did not ship with the cardboard tube, consult your spare parts list for ordering information. Place a thin coat of anti-seize paste on the magnet drive hub on the unpainted fit diameter. Using the threaded studs and the shaft adapter as a guide, slide the magnet hub onto the shaft adapter. The magnet hub and shaft adapter are held in close tolerance to one another. Use two M8 1.25 hex head bolts to draw the hub onto the adapter as necessary. Avoid hitting the outer edge of the magnet hub as impact can damage the glue bond between the magnet and the hub. Secure the magnet hub to the shaft adapter with the two M8 hex head bolts and lock washers, as well as the two M8 hex nuts with lock washers. Torque the bolts and nuts to 120 inch pounds. Place the front vapor protection o-ring into the groove on the motor adapter. Liberally apply a suitable lubricant to the o-ring. Turn the two jack screws clockwise until the heads touch the motor adapter. Carefully slide the wet end towards the motor adapter until it touches the jack screws. There will be some magnetic attraction. 
Slowly and evenly, turn the jack screws counterclockwise to allow the wet end to slowly slide into the motor adapter. When the jack screws are fully retracted, lift the wet end slightly and slide it onto the motor adapter's locating flange. Be careful not to pinch or cut the vapor protection o-ring. Bolt the wet end to the motor adapter by reinstalling the four half-inch hex head cap screws and torque evenly 275 foot-pounds.